All right, a new era of McDaniel College football is officially underway with a new head coach. He is a leader who returns to Westminster with big plans for the program. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner explains. McDaniel College is affectionately known as The Hill. One thing about new head football coach Skyler Fultz, he is more than ready for the uphill climb in front of him on the Green Terror's way back to respectability. Fultz introduced on Wednesday as the 28th head coach in the 133 year history of the program. He is the 10th alum to lead the team. I came here as a recruit, as a player, with the goal of holding the Centennial Conference trophy. I, I, I didn't accomplish that. And it's never left my mind. And that's why I'm back here. The 35 year old is a 2011 McDaniel grad. He spent the last nine years at King's College, one season as head coach, last year leading the Monarchs to an eight and three record. The team he inherits is coming off a winless season, but he spots talent on his new roster. They're the best 0-10 football team you'd find. There's athletes out there, there's guys that care, talking to them right now, they're a very close-knit group. Just at times the ball didn't go their way. Fultz sees that changing. You're gonna see our guys playing with immense effort and love and care for their teammates and their coaches. Because if you're doing those things, the ball tends to roll your way more times than not. Fultz tells me he will call plays on offense. As for the identity of his team, that will be determined by what they show him in the fall. His identity? He's still trying to wrap his head around being the head coach at his alma mater. I don't know if that'll hit me uh, until the first game. And then it'll really like, I'll, I'll see the M on my chest, I'll see the M on the helmet, and, and I'll be in green again. I think in that moment it'll really hit me. Fultz says he is going to delay the start of spring ball just a bit so he can get to know his players with the Green Terror hitting the field next month. In Westminster, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.